today we want to consider how to price your product if you are into the mimic importation business people have this challenge of knowing how to you know the right price to put on their product that they import from abroad my name is joseph and in today's video we will talk briefly about pricing in mini importation how to not overprice and how to not underprice so let's say you are considering importing from maybe alibaba or aliexpress i'm going to be making use of aliexpress in my discussion and 1688 okay i'm not going to talk much about alibaba now i know you are wondering why i don't want to talk much about alibaba okay let me just give you an inside tip alibaba is congested it's highly congested with middlemen so the price of product and um, moq is always on the high side so just keep alibaba you can just go to 1688 okay and 1688 is just for individuals that are really getting things in more quantity so you can have access to um, the manufacturers or suppliers direct then if you are just considering getting something just a few items maybe for your personal use or uh, an experiment for marketing purpose or a gift you can just go to 16 uh, aliexpress you don't need to disturb yourself much about that so now let's talk about pricing improper so if you are considering pricing when it comes to mini importation business the first thing you should understand is that you have bills to pay you have bills to pay so if you see a product and let's say um, let me give an example i'm still going to make use of these glasses if you see this product now this is a this, this is a nice glass if you see this product this product can be selling in nigeria for maybe 2500 or 4000 let's just wrap it up to 5000 there and you stumble on this product on 1688 this product can possibly be around 700 naira now you now begin to imagine say wow this person is making a huge profit look at the product that is being sold for 700 naira and is selling it right here in Nigeria for 5,000 Naira. This profit margin is too great. Calm down. Calm down. Let me explain to you. You see this product that goes for 700 Naira. When you are importing from abroad, abroad is not like Nigeria. Don't use your Nigeria mentality to approach many importation business. You are going to hit the rock. China is a very big country. China is bigger than Nigeria. I think if I'm correct, you should be able to take out two Nigeria out of China, if not three or more. Now, in terms of largeness, land mass, China is very big. So this, um, these glasses can be in a particular province in China. And where you need to get it to, for it to be shipped down to Africa and to you right here in Nigeria can be in another province. So the first thing is that this product we have to move from province A to province B. That will cost you money. That is what we call the local shipping. The local shipping fee is going to cost you money. That's number one. So let's say now the local shipping fee costs you the same amount you are buying it. So that means from 700 Naira, this product now is 1,400 Naira and it hasn't left China. Now you are now going to pay agents for their services. From that, 
your product is going to be packaged and your product will be now freighted for its destination nigeria from that you are going to pay shipping fee either by cargo or by airplane whichever one you choose airplane is faster you get your product within three days or four days and if you want to use ship that is by sea that can take you maybe like 30 to 60 days if it is very fast maybe 45 days okay now those are costs we are going to incur in the process of doing this uh, mini importation before this product lands to your doorstep in nigeria let's say it lands to lagos and you are in abuja we are still going to transport this to abuja to, to your to your address or you can travel down to lagos to go and pick it up that is another cost then the product finally comes to you in your apartment now let's say the landing cost of this product is now three thousand five hundred you bought it at seven hundred but with all the shipping fee and everything is now three thousand five hundred how much do you now want to sell it you see the reason why you must not jump to import certain product before considering what the shipping fee may be and before setting your prices and you can also not cons compare yourself with some other sellers someone can bring up to like 10,000 pieces of this because he has been trading for years he already have the capital base but you are just a beginner you can't afford to bring 10,000 of this the person bringing 10,000 of this piece of item can get it at a reduced price of maybe like 350 or 300 naira but because you are just buying maybe like 10 pieces 20 pieces 50 pieces you are going to be getting it like 700 naira so that is also another factor you need to consider so in a nutshell before you set your price on any product when it comes to mini importation always do your careful findings on what it will cost you to bring that product to your doorstep do that very very well once you get that information you can now do your calculation on how much profit will this item go for if you are to sell it in nigeria and what is the price this item is currently being sold in the market the average price once you know the average price, you are good to go. So you can now put in your profit. Maybe your profit on this can be one five. It can be 2000 to cover for all your stress and everything. And at the same time, you have to put a price that is competitive. And your selling channel also determines. If you are selling this on maybe like on the Jumia, on the Conga, you can make more profit but if you are selling it direct to the end user end user will always drag price with you put that into consideration so that's where i'm going to stop for pricing this evening but on a general general note if you are considering importing any item from abroad you should look into multiplying the cost the cost of the item by three or four that is just a simple formula so if this item is 700 naira, consider selling it 700 times four that is the price you should be projecting that you will sell it when it gets to the country so the first 700 is for the manufacturer the second 700 is for the local shipping fee the third 700 is for the nigerian transportation and 
promotion, then the last 700 can be your profit. <laughs> I hope this makes sense. Thank you for watching. My name still remains Joseph, and this is Side Also Nigeria. If you gain value from this, please do well to drop your comments in the comment section and also subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive updates on any other video I make. Till I come your way in my next video, keep winning. Bye for now.